Friday is National Hat Day. It is so Corey is learning the lost art of custom hat making. One of the best places oh around right there up in Cave Creek. I like the art of custom hat wearing. Yeah, really. We're going to see the making in a moment. But uh, isn't this a beautiful, beautiful hat? And uh, oh, I think different. this is a Stetson Friday, as you said, <laughs> National Hat Day. Rich Glisson is with us. And Rich, um, uh, how could you ever possibly wear all the hats that you must love? I see you're sporting the Bruce Arians right now. Yes, this is a flat cap. And as you can see, most of the line here, these are the new newsboy caps, flat mm -hmm. caps, and fedoras. They're the hottest thing on the market now, especially with younger men between 18 yeah. and 40. Well, I like the way uh, it sort of changes your whole personality. You know, uh, when you have a hat like this on, it's like, ah, it's a lot of hard-boiled tie. You know, it's your, it's your nickel, sister. It's your funeral. Come on, who's on the blower? You know, that kind of a thing. But then, hold that. You put this on, and... Uh, it's like, oh, I don't know what we're going to be doing. I, I lost my shillelagh. Uh, anyway, you, you have a lot of, I don't know what Bruce Arians yells usually when he's in a hell. He's not much of a yeller. No, he's not. He's not. Uh, but uh, they're very popular. I see a lot of guys at the games especially. Yeah, like you said, 80% uh, of that market are men under the age of 40, and all the young guys now have discovered fedoras. And this year is Stetson's 150th anniversary of making fedoras, so they have a 150th anniversary collection. Well, you've got... T talk about a collection. I love this room especially. It's uh, the lighting is great, and I know you've got a lot of friends who uh, are real uh, repeat customers. And um, you've you've dressed out some of the best. Ronald Reagan has worn your hats. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, be immodest. Uh, I won't be the one to say, but t tick off some of your uh, your well, big I mean, customers. A lot of hats for George Burns, mm -hmm. Ronald Reagan, the cast of Glee mm -hmm. when they were on TV had a lot of my hats on uh, their show. Uh, Wallace and Ladmo were my customers. Oh, fantastic! Made a lot of hats for Wallace and Ladmo. Yeah, so. well, it doesn't surprise me. Let's uh, let's head back into the uh, the command center back here, and uh, I know that the process is not easy. But w these are the raw materials, right? What are we looking at right. here? This is what a hat looks like when I start making one. These are blocks. These are from the uh, original hat shop in 1912, the Athens Hat Works downtown. Love it. So what we do is. Obviously, it takes longer than the few minutes we have, so I'm going to do just kind of steps. This is a, a hat body made out of uh, beaver fur. Mm -hmm. It's stretched over the blocks, and then we tie it down, and it, there's actually a machine that, that presses the crown. And you've got a whole bunch of blocks over here. I mean, all right. sorts of styles, right? That's from the very two hat shops that existed in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Those came from there. Gotcha. And then the next step, the hat is actually put into a flange, which looks like this. Again, a machine presses this. And then when I finish it, then I finish it out. So the hat oh, look at that. will actually look like this. This is the uh, Gus hat from Lonesome Dub. Gosh. And we have this in five or six colors. Rich, you are the best. Thanks for your generosity. And next time we get together, we're going to meet a very famous hat wearer. He's here this morning. I think you'll love meeting this fellow. More coming your way from Heritage Hats, the biggest hat shop in the Southwest. Wow. We'll see you again in a couple of minutes. I love very famous hat wearer.